Hey guys, we're Time6. We're back watching House of the Dragon, season one, episode four, called King of the Narrow Sea. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. You can also check out our Patreon page. That's where you can watch the full uncut reaction. Link is gonna be down below. You can also help support the channel by checking that out. Get early access for the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. And let's get started right away. So said Queen Alizan herself when she honored my father and I. And tell me, Lord Dundarian, did you think my great grandmother is beautiful as they say? This was half a century Damn. ago, princess. Yes, it was. <laughs> the man is older than my father. It's unseemly for him to put himself forward as a contender for my hand. <laughs> Talking shit. Yeah, that is creepy. <laughs> oh my oh, god, bro, what is That's Joffrey. That's Tom. The Blackwoods are an ancient house with a formidable army. The blood of the first man still flows in their veins. This is Lucas Blackwood, the grandsire of my grandsire, aided the dragon in his war of conquest. Aye, the Blackwoods truly turned the tide on that one. <laughs> Bro, nice your beak. <laughs> Bro, this is he is. horrible. First men, our history is deeply rooted in this land, which your house has made its home. The princess has a dragon, you dumb cunt. <laughs> Bro, Damn! Someone behead this guy. Who's this guy? Can I tag that one? You don't talk. Yo, this kid's gonna have some next level energy now. So we may go to supper. I don't think she should be laughing. Craven. Oh! Beat his ass. Let's go. I like. He died? Yo! Let's go! Let's go! This kid's a savage, bro! <laughs> Yo, Yo, Blackwoods, yo, you bitch, oh, talk no, your shit. He was bombing. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, though. Yo, I like this kid, man. Yo, Rhaenyra, are you seeing that? Yo, this kid needs to chill. That could be you. your man. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, he wants some lie when he said he protect you. Oh, yeah. Yo. Shit. He just drops in there, it's a wrap in the water. For the crown? Maybe that's what King of the Narrow Sea means. He has his own crown. He cut his hair. Add it to the chair. Do you also call yourself King? Once we smash the triarchy, they name me King of the Narrow Sea. Yeah, I presume. But I know that there is only one true Shady King, found. Your Grace. Oh, okay. Okay. That's interesting. Respect. Who holds the stepstones? The tides. The crabs and 2,000 dead triarchy corsairs stake to the sand to warn those who might follow. Mm. Mm. Bro, this cut makes him look so much younger. Way better looking too. No, younger, I mean. Almost a uh, teenager. Wow. Hey. The bond. There we go. This is our child. <sighs> mm. Oh, that looks good. What was that? What was that? I don't know, it's like a lemon. Fried or lemon or some shit? You were always mother's favorite. <laughs> okay. That's a debate. Congratulations on your victory. What's that look? Oh, is he still mad about her coming home Thank early? He has no interest in such things. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see them. Uh -huh. Oh, well, then you should not deprive yourself. Wow, he switched up so quick from that laugh. Do you see that? Have every young knight and lord in the Seven Kingdoms fawning over you. It is rare for girls in this realm to get a choice between two suitors, no less two score of them. They only want my name in my Valyrian blood for their offspring. How romantic it must be to get imprisoned in a castle and me to squeeze out to heirs. Yo! <laughs> shit Brother talks. Shade. God damn. Damn, bro. That, that hits hard and hits <laughs> yeah. deep. Yeah. I like to believe I'm still the Lady Allison, but all anyone sees when they look at me now is the Queen. I've missed you too. Are they finally, bro? Good. I love this. Thank God. We don't need any more of the yeah. shade. Yeah. yeah. yeah Scotty, the they always start off in the uh, Valyrian, and then yeah. <laughs> they switch to English. Yeah. <laughs> so. See. <laughs> what do you want? Only the comforts of home. He's lying. I not thought you particularly comfortable in this home. Mature, perhaps. You've matured yourself these last four years, Princess. The attention I can endure, the rest I could do without. My father seems content to sell me off to whichever lord is the biggest castle. 
you know, worse things to be sold for. He's seen it. Una no hadarani a picago ni se tax. The parzi eri morcacotas. En cos watches potilunda or. Eo a munia e mastas lir mundas maestra. Glaso ne ohon zucose, glaso con coste de or. He had a habit just. Oh, Damien is sick, yo, with his. Okay. Right. Zucos glaso lunja lunda or. I'm vibing with everything he says. Lord Corlys is said to have engaged in negotiations with the Sea Lord of Bravos. He oh. plans to wed his daughter Lena to the Sea Lord's son. Okay. If House Valarian entered into an alliance with the Free Cities, we would have to seek our own marriage pact. Oh, the pressure's on her now to get married. Escape? Run away in the middle of the night? What the hell is this? Wait, a secret what? A secret door? Whoa. Treasure hunt? Oh they brought this sick. What the hell? What? Oh. Bro. Yo. That's pretty sick. This is like every kid's dream. Yeah, literally though. Right? <clears throat> right in the right in the nighttime too when you're about to sleep. It's gonna go in town. I think they can still tell. Aha. The rebellious youths over here. Are we doing hardcore parkour? <laughs> Assassin's Damn, Creed stuff? Assassin's Creed. She needs a jacket like his. I don't yeah, his is hardcore. I'm getting Assassin's Creed vibes. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> what bro, the homeboy fuck? just falls. Bro, that's a, bro. It's just like the nightlife this? of. Uh... Oh, someone's dying. Probably fell off. <laughs> oh yeah, true. They replaced his ass. This guy's giving her juice. Whoa. What the fuck? Yes. Oh, he's scabbed up like. Yeah, dude. This guy's got like leprosy or something. That tub looks so small. Right. There's no way she can fit in that. How's he fit? Look at him. Oh, <laughs> he looks so weird. <laughs> I think he's like B. Is it's it B? reduced? It is. That's supposed to be Allison. Oh my god. Oh wow. He has two things Rhaenyra cannot: a conqueror's name and a cock. I knew it. I knew he was gonna. Four Copper Street, rat in King's Landing. We pay for our pleasures. Hey, stop! Boy! Wait, I'll find him. Oh, the town is lit. Even at night, just how we're doing. Oh, this is the hippie section. That's I mean, it's the art. <laughs> Where's he bringing her? What the hell? It's the brothel. Is this where he was? Episode one? Wait, shouldn't she be wearing like a hood? Because now, now she, everybody, everybody can no, see no, her. No, no, he wants this place. Though. Are they going to think that they're like incestuous? Wait, whoa, 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 are we seeing some incestuous shit right now? I mean, it's not about surprise. Oh, oh! That's, why, oh! That's, why, that's why he came back. I see, I'm not surprised at it. I'm like, oh. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm guessing this is the first time, or? Is he teasing her, or is he not into it? I can't tell. Something's wrong. He went soft. Oh, that looked like something was wrong. Like, that looked like he got poisoned or something. Oh, no. He's telling people she's here. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's he's so like, what the fuck? Funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's dead. My helmet. Is she drunk? She, like. She's she, blue balled. She wants something. She wants. She's horny. You There's some foreplay going on. Damien didn't finish the job, so crispy it is. Crispy's not, not allowed to do this, man. Oh, yeah. It's going to take a while to take the armor off. Oh! All right, so Bro, crispy. Oh, yo, she got him good. That's the first time he's ever gotten play, right? She belongs to the King's Landing alleys. Sir Kristen, please make light of this poor situation. Bro, his name is Crispy. Get it right. Bro, first the crispy, then the cream. <laughs> bro, she knows like every piece of armor by heart. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, bro, I'd fuck this something like up like no, moving no, She knows or something. exactly what she's doing. It's like removing a bra from like from behind. Yeah, bro, the mood's gone now. Oh, finally! Some Here skin. <laughs> See the giggling. Yeah. She's like, you're not even D's. <laughs> so Damon starts her off and Crispy finishes. This is a terrible idea. Crispy creams. Crispy creams, this man. Creams. Not go... Are you? Oh, my guy has never felt that ever in his life. <laughs> Wait, there's kind of dragon on. Yeah. yeah. Been dragon on. Apologies for the late hour, my lord. Someone's gonna snitch. A messenger brings word from the white worm. Oh, oh the kid. shit. Am I your prisoner? Zara was once yours. 
I'm your protector. Lucky for you. I don't need protection from a common whore. I'm not so common. I'm not so common whore then. <laughs> I've left that life behind. Hard lessons are not welcome, but suffered. Yo, was that the same kid? Yep. They gave him money for that for me. Huh. I have uh, discomforting news. I thought it best share discreetly before the. Yeah, when does he doesn't have discomforting news? The princess was spied last evening beyond the walls of the keep in a pleasure house. Oh! She was carrying on with her uncle. Oh, oh man. She engaged in behaviors unbecoming. Of That's some fucking news. Whoa, man. What behaviors? Oh, no. You enter my bedchamber, accusing my daughter of something. Yeah. I speak it. Damon and Rhaenyra were seen together in the bowels of a pleasure den. The bowels. Okay, dude. At this. Alright, bro. You know what? You know what? You know what's going on. Yeah. Come on. This <laughs> guy. Coupling. Coupling. You have been lied to. Wow. I only wish that were true, Your Grace. As your hand, I must maintain trusted sources of information, and this one, as yet, has never led me astray. And several of the servants have now admitted to seeing her. The princess. He's so sick with ambition that you would have my daughter stalked. Awaiting your best chance happened. to destroy her reputation. I have no. The one time that's that he's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, the one time he's not lying. Yeah. yeah, the one time. The one time he's not conniving. How long did it take him to get dressed? Princess, I have a message from the Queen. Caught you lacking. My father has made some worrying allegations about you. Were you with your uncle? Oh! He took me into the city for some fun. Tell me the whole of it, Rhaenyra. You fucked <sighs> David. Jeez! Ooh. At least she said it straight up. It's a vile accusation. You Targaryens do have queer customs. Oh! oh! Yo, she's in her research. <laughs> she read the books. To question my virtue is an act of treason. This is so bad for her. Damn. He reported it to the king. Yeah, bro, she's doing you a favor by telling you right yeah. now. Yeah. Right? Just this is bad. She's holding her back, actually. So you are accusing me of slanders? You overheard? Well, this people saw you. <laughs> the gaslighting. Oof. And I asked to go home. The Damon wished to continue. As he was my escort, I had no real choice. Continue in a brothel. I was only a spectator. I didn't do anything. Well, the kid didn't see all that, right? Hmm? He just saw them leaving. Well, the people there. in the yeah. Well, the people inside, yeah. They did just kiss. Nine there. There's more than. Nine. Yeah, he went. Yeah. He went. No, I'm was... saying that's more than enough. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Damon never touched me. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, no, that's it. I swear this. Yeah, but... Nah, but you swear this? No, nah, but she needs to. Oh, needs... bro, bro, pay attention, man. She just swear on her mother. It's foolish of you to place yourself in a position where your virtue could even come into question. If that lord were to think that you were being sullied, you would ruin everything. I know. This guy got the haircut of a demon. That's a demon cut. <laughs> you defiled her. Oh, Damn. Shit. Maybe that's why he stopped. Oh, because of blood and stuff? Maybe he's like this. No, I think he has a problem. He stopped with that other. Yeah, remember? that's the problem. When we were in age, we fucked our way through most of the brothels on the street of silk. We were young men. She is just a girl. Better her first experience be with me than some whore. What lord will wed her now in this condition? Who gives a fuck what some lord thinks? I have spent a lifetime defending you, but your heart is even blacker than I thought. I should disinherit her, as I already did you. Be done with it. Damn! I want Rhaenyra. I take her as she is and wed her in the tradition of our house. You are already wed? That didn't stop Egg on the Conqueror from taking a second wife. You are no conqueror. Damn! You are a plague. <laughs> Sent to destroy me. Give me Rhaenyra to take to wife, and we will return the house of the dragon to its proper glory. It's not my daughter you lust for, is it? It's my throne. Damn. Oh. That deep. As long as you are gone from my side for good. They just made up too. Yeah, this sucks. As you wish, brother. When you have paintings like that, what do you expect? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> It is not in Rhaenyra's nature to be deceitful. I cannot say the same for your brother. How does confessing to such things serve him? Oh. By reducing you. Damon and Rhaenyra share the blood of the dragon. They are restless and chaotic. She swore to me that she remains a maiden, and I believe her. I hope she doesn't actually believe it and she's just playing the king. 
but right. I don't think that's the case. Uh, that is her that best was a pregnant friend. Version. And they don't even know about fucking crispy here. Yeah, that's the problem here. Yeah. Well, yeah. that makes it worse. Like they have no idea. That dagger <clears throat> once belonged to Egon the Conqueror. Before Egon's death, the last of the Valyrian pyromancers hid his song in the steel. From my blood. That's pretty sick. Come the prince that was promised, and his will be the song of ice and fire. The burden of this knowledge. It is larger than the throne. It is larger than you. And your desires. Jeez. Ooh. The emphasis on desires. <laughs> <laughs> You've yet to ask me for the truth. For being of what defiled. Happens. The truth does not matter, Rhaenyra. Only perception. You have exposed yourself. There's some now truth to that. Not said fairly. I born a man, I could bear two men if I wanted. Yeah, but you're not. I could father a dozen bastards, and no one in your court right. would blink an eye. You're right. But you were born a woman. <laughs> exactly what you said. <laughs> you will wed Selena Valarian, and you will do so without protest. So I can be a remedy for your political headaches. You are my political headache. <laughs> Damn. With the combined strength of our shared dragons and naval fleet, no one would dare to stand against us. And what will you do about the vulture who perches upon your throne? Otto Hightower has served two kings loyally and faithfully. He wants Aegon to be named heir. And he will stop at nothing to see it done. Including spying on me to bring about my ruin. Well, regardless of that, you did the thing, so... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Whose fault was that? Yeah. I will do my duty as heir. And with Sir Lano. But you must first do yours as king. Oh, shit. Yo, it's a wrap. It's some big decisions here. Oh, God. Damn. Jaehaer is named the Great Royal Hunt to celebrate him being named the Hand of the King. Five days later, my father lay dead. Balon the Brave, rider of Vagar, dead of a burst belly. It was a grim day. It was a good day for you. <clears throat> That's hardly how I viewed it, Your Grace. You are the man that taught me how to be king. You went from being another man in Jaehaer's court to the second most powerful man in the realm. Oh, is he accusing him? How long did it take you to choose yourself over your king? But Alison, she took me through the worst of my grief. She was a calculated distraction. The queen loves you, as I know you love her. Your interests no longer align with those of the realm. Your judgment has been compromised. A loyal hand must tell his king a discomforting truth from time to time, your grace. If he doesn't, He's failed as a servant. The fact you were a faithful servant, Otto. Wow. Really? The crowd in the realm. Emotional king. Even though, yeah, like he is plotting, but still. <laughs> For everybody just, plots, just because man. I, Yeah, just because I like Otto. I took great care in its preparation. Got a mix up in the show right now. What was that? Well, if not brewed properly, it can either prove ineffective or else bear unpleasant. Brewed properly. This is the team plan B. Princess. From the king. Oh, yeah, probably plan B. Yeah. yeah. This Mr. Crispy's gonna have a crispy baby in there. <laughs> All warmed a up. A junior crispy. <laughs> a junior. <laughs> Alright guys, that was the reaction portion of the video. Make sure to stay tuned for the discussion. If there's any part of the episode that we weren't able to keep in our YouTube edit, you can click the link down below for the full uncut reaction. And let's discuss now. King of the Narrow Sea. Damon! Damon. So we have another Demon. time jump. We don't know how long it is. Is it two months? No. Uh, I Maybe say a couple of months, like at least six, seven. Eight. Second baby's popped. The baby looks kind of old too. I'm not that old, but yeah, yeah I'd say know. half a year, maybe. Yeah. Another because, uh, no, I'm saying that because mm -hmm. Damon said to her, I haven't seen you in four years. So the, the war was three years. But also, Damon left a couple months before that. So put that and this together, you have four years, right? Yep. Half and half. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Time to travel and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So, yeah. A couple months have passed and Rhaenyra is off to her, her gallery of guys. And she's still salty over oh, the, the Allison oh. situation. Yeah, I don't think she's ever getting over that, but whatever. Yeah. I guess that's that, uh, what would you call it? Targaryen stubbornness? That yeah, thing? but that's where it's manifested her stubborn side, though. 
No, but Daenerys had the same stubbornness. You gotta like. I think it is meant to be a yeah. familial trait. He's, he yeah. really said it. It's in their blood. Yeah, not just to be rowdy like the like frisky and shit like frisky. Yeah. Frisky. Like the, frisky. Well, that's the the context Damon he was is saying. Fruity, for sure. yeah, he's fruity. Mm -hmm. fruity and frisky. Yeah. <laughs> that's the context that Viserys was saying it in. But there's a Zesty. lot of zesty, spicy. There you go. Oh fuck you. <laughs> I didn't say shit. I was trying to make a point, yo. But fuck yeah. you. Yeah. Anyways, let's give our overall the thoughts on the episode, then we'll get into the specifics. Mm -hmm. Sex scene was too long. Yeah, so armor, armor removal scene, however, accurate. Very oh, good. yeah. <laughs> like, okay, I'm fine with sex scenes, obviously, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was way too drawn out. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of weird. Like, we didn't really have time to have her. To understand how she processed what happened with Damon at the brothel, like, it just kind of skipped immediately to Krispy Kreme, you know? That worked drunk. Honestly, like... Yeah, but still. Like, it... Because that's a very, no, like, still something, deep... Yeah, no, like, yeah, I just, I just think that they know the tradition within the Targaryen family, and they're just kind of open to it. I just think... I just, that's all. I think that's what it was. That's not all. That, that's clearly yeah. not all. There's He's clearly... Kidding. He wants to marry her now. There's attraction yeah. from both sides, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. And there's also the rebelliousness from her mm -hmm. which is and from this. him no more so from okay. her because this is about her right now like just like it's called the episode's called king of the narrow sea but it's actually about her the whole episode okay so the problem here is he obviously knows what he wants damon right but this is the second time he stops midway why he probably has some fucking sex issue or does something else honestly i think like he, he has too much and now he just he has hmm. whiskey dick I think that's what it uh, was. That's he, too simple. He woke up drunk. It's not, it's not that. It's what do you think it is? Else. Nah, it's something else. At first, I was like, um, maybe he realized this is messed up. He should marry her first. But you're right. He did this before. Yeah. Or he's very so, religious. Hmm. It's possible. He's what? What did you say? There are big religious groups in the This guy thinks Damon is religious. Bro, Damon is not religious. No, it's not that. It's not like a massive twist. If you think Damon is religious, bro, I don't he know what show you're watching. Bro, he could be just it's like homosexual. Old faceless people he could be like I was thinking that. He, he could be homosexual because I remember in Game of Thrones they had that one dude too that couldn't uh, have sex with his wife, right? And uh, he ended oh. up. Oh. Remember? Yeah. yeah, yeah. his name? It is possible. But, I can see um, it. I think the that's... Baratheon guy, yeah. The Baratheon guy, yeah. But Renly, Renly. Renly. Yo, how do you remember these names, bro? That's crazy. Because I'm, a, I'm a weed, an actual fan of the fucking. <laughs> that's bro. crazy, bro. He's a Game Renly. of Thrones. This guy really brought up the episode, like, whatever season that was. Like... Season two. <laughs> Yo. Renly season Baratheon. Two. He couldn't get it up with Marjorie, yeah. Marjorie. Because he liked Loras Mar Tyrell. Yeah, Marjorie. Mm -hmm. I remember Marjorie, but you I. Remember I... Loras Tyrell? Yeah. The sword swallower, according to his grandmother? Bro. I remember all the lines. <laughs> So it could be that it could go in that route, but I don't know. I don't really see that. Like, they haven't really... That would be interesting because uh -huh. it's like he knows exactly what he wants to do, but he just can't, you know? Like, he wants to take over. He wants, you know, Rhaenyra, but it's just not possible. But, I feel like we would have seen, but, but, like, but, but, a dude at, this, at some point. In the important garage. thing here is that Viserys called out something really important, which is that... Whether or not, like, how he feels about Renera is, a, like, uh, genuine, genuine. Could be fine. No, it could be genuine. But, at the same time, the minute he does that, he has a, he has, he's closer to the throne. Yeah. Right? True. And that's oh, something I... that, I think, even if Damon was not wed to someone else, Viserys wouldn't entertain that idea at all. Mm -hmm. Just because of that. I don't know what you th guys think about that. I think Corliss getting or marrying the uh, the free cities is like really important. I think that's really important in terms of how Viserys is thinking right now because I think that's one thing that we're kind of discrediting when it comes to how he handled the whole auto situation. Like yes, it was emotional, but it was also st strategic because he kind of struck a bargain with uh, Renero, right? Which was. I'll get rid of Otto if you lock down, you know, Amanda soon. Mm -hmm. You can argue that what Otto did was the best thing that happened to the king. Uh, he had a baby boy with Allison, right? Mm -hmm. She was... Yep. Her, his wife died. 
she can they can relate and he was able to go through all that grieving and stuff with mm -hmm. her he couldn't do that with that eight-year-old that's for sure that's for sure so 12 technically but yeah. whatever <laughs> <laughs> no she did look eight yeah mm. yeah so maybe it was good for him of course it was he was scheming but no 100 percent he was scheming yeah. but no i get i get that as the because, hand of the king, yeah. you should be doing things because like that. everything yeah. you just said is actually good for the nation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, That's what I was thinking. And it's not good for Rhaenyra because court. But it is good for the nation. Cordis would have so, threw him into war. But that's the argument Arnold Ar 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 needs to make, though. Hmm? He can't say he didn't do them. He needs to take pride and say, "Yes, I did it, but it was necessary for the good of the nation." He kind of did. He didn't admit it, but he did say, "Alicent, it was good for you." So. Yeah. No. Yeah. You say it by not saying it. Yeah. That's that's why he's smart. But I still feel like he had. And that's why though. I feel like his story's not over. He's gonna come back way oh, no, stronger. Man. He better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. he better because yeah. if this is the peak of Otto, bro, that's such a yeah. You know. And again, this show is doing a lot of things differently from the book. Mm. Okay. So we have to keep that in mind. I see. And that's mm -hmm. why I don't really jump too much of the predictions. Mm -hmm. But sense. regardless, like the books are not some uh like source of validity validity okay. because the books are written from a pov of someone in the world recalling it oh so okay. it's it's hearsay oh, it's like the whole book is hearsay town people mm -hmm. fucking no i think it's a maester or something but oh. the book is hearsay so mm -hmm. even then you can't even like say that oh this is how it has to happen or you know mm -hmm. but, could have been a different hearsay a different hearsay <laughs> a fiction <laughs> book is hearsay yeah, a fiction book. Yeah, a fiction book about history in a fictional world is hearsay. That, That's indeed. basically what it is. The irony. That play mm -hmm. in town reminded me of Game of Thrones when Arya was watching it. Yeah, well, that season six. Yeah. Yeah. Basically the same thing. I think, yeah, like you remember. We're playing the. Yeah, I remember that scene. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about the like. Yeah. Uh, so mm. we talked about more of the critical stuff. Let's talk about the good stuff. Good to see Damon back with a fresh cut. Oh yeah, yeah. and his fresh crown. Proper not Damon bad, not But bad. then he kind of bungled it. <laughs> you know, by being himself. Like Bro, the, the the good graces he had with his brother it lasted one day, man. Like not even. That a was a episode. really good scene. Yeah, I no, really like it when he, Yeah, when yeah. he came in, he got his glory. He was good with the bro. Mm -hmm. That was such a good. Like Damon and Viserys scene, you know. Then he got mm -hmm. hammered, went out partying, and he got banned the next day. Yeah. <laughs> and defiled his niece. And defiled his niece. All on the same night. Damn. Wow. Wow. And he woke up in the brothel. Or just an average <laughs> Sunday in, in Westeros. Oh, that lady. That lady. Well, we can't call her a whore anymore. She's not. She what has a profession? business going. Just pies all over. And I think that kid works for her. And that's how she gets paid. She tells Otto everything going on. So Otto on and her time. are in on it? Yeah, that common whore turned insurance policy manager. Yeah, basically. That's crazy. So how does this work now? He's uh, removed from the hand of the king, and I'm assuming he doesn't get to just chill in King's Landing. Probably has to go back to his high tower land, mm -hmm. right? Uh, well, his daughter is still the queen. Yeah, but he has no business there. He can't I have stay no in the castle. Yeah, he's not a he's not a public servant anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he got like deranked and he's still like yeah. as like a servant, or if it's just like, a complete think... banishment. No, but he's still a part of like one of the, the house, one of the houses. So he's still like an that doesn't figure. mean you get to stay in. But you'd still be welcome inside the castle. I'm not saying you're welcome. I'm talking about staying, like as in living yeah, yeah. there. Does it make sense for him to actually yeah. stay? I don't know. And if that's the case, then. We're gonna see less of him, I think. Probably not, honestly. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's probably gonna go regroup. You know. Let's see how. Let's see how he's well like, gathers forces. Come back, come back with an army. Let's see how how, how Allison like you know, stomachs that you know, that her father was um. Yeah, that's more interesting to me because he's very salty about Otto. But I don't. I can't read how he feels about Allison. Exactly. Well, mm -hmm. he said he realized what, what was going on, but at the same time, yeah, but I that feel doesn't like, change like feelings, you know? Like, yeah. Of, like, <sighs> yeah. Like she did take care of you for four years. She did give yeah. you a son. I don't think it changes anything, honestly. No, yeah, no. I hope she doesn't get screwed by this. You know? No, no, I think she's fine. 
Even though she was kind of annoying this episode. Yeah. For being so gullible. But with the, when they were having that conversation? Her and Renera? When uh, the gaslighting worked on Alicent. Oh. Honestly, I, I, I kind of... In her position, Renera, Renera's position, I, I'd say like she had to deny that. No, she didn't because we yeah. learned later yeah. she could have gotten uh, pregnant. She could have. And yeah. if you keep denying it, mm -hmm. and then you end up getting pregnant, that's even worse. Mm. But like I'm saying, like, would you trust uh, so Al like you know, would you trust Allison with that kind of uh, truthful, you know, honesty? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, as they are. I think you have to. Come Doesn't on. matter because they didn't really talk for four she years. She didn't you know? admit it to the hey, father. Pause. Either. Hold mm -hmm. up. No, guys. The father got rid of Otto, mm -hmm. but the father still recognizes that Otto must have been telling the truth. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why I think he no, said. No, but the, not just that. Like Damon, con Damon confessed. Yeah. So it wasn't just like exactly, oh, yeah. he trusts Otto. Yeah. No, no, it could have been the, that he trusts Otto, yeah. but Damon confessed. But like it's it's kind of a hard thing for a girl to admit to. Like yeah, you know. No, I'm not saying it's not, uncle, but yeah, trying yeah. to have sex with me, you know, to Allison, you know, like it's not yeah, like of course, like of course. you can't. You can't just be like, yeah, I did that. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? That's well, I feel like, like it's easier to yeah. uh, uh, say it to your friend rather than your mm -hmm. father. Yeah, and the king knows that she can't yeah. help you. That's She's my that point, queen. though. They weren't friends. Yeah. They weren't friends they for the years. Like, you know what? Well, well, yes, they just, they yeah, just got wait, together well, well, now. Oh, first yeah. off, they're best friends. Yeah. They had a rift, but they did make up, and she still knows who she, like, mm. personality-wise, Allison, yeah, she got a little more mature and smarter, yeah. But she's mm. still the same person and she's helping you right now, you know? Mm -hmm. right. However, the king has, he has a, a, an axe that he's holding over Renero's head because the king knows that Renero lied to Alicent about what she did that night. And because again, Alicent, she advocated to the queen. Um, oh, so that might, that might change the relationship exactly. now. So the king, the king can tell Alicent that Renero lied to her because the yeah. king knows that she did because Damon already told her. I think you mixed up some names and got me confused. No, you Renero, said Alicent did something to the queen, so, so, but she is the queen. So no, the, um, oh, so no, um, sorry. Well, what are you saying? Renera. Renera did what? No, all I'm saying is that, okay, so the king knows because Damon told the king that he slept with Renera, right? Yeah. Confirmed, okay. And the king also knows that Alicent went to him saying, oh, Renera told me that they didn't sleep together and I trust her, right? Mm -hmm. So the king knows that Renera lied to Alicent, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Alicent doesn't know that yet, so he can tell her and that might screw up the relationship. Mm. The friendship? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Oh, it could, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. That's fair. That's what, that's what you wanted to say. That's the axe he's holding mm -hmm. over. He took me on some next fucking, just to make that point. Yeah. But, yeah, so what else? Going forward, it seems the marriage is happening. Yeah. I don't know if it's actually going to happen, but... Well, they all agreed to it, so... Oh, well, we don't know. Well, them. you know how Renera is. Like, she's in her angsty teen moments right now. She doesn't want to get married. And, and anyone can die at any moment. Men can go around doing whatever. You know? What? That's what she was saying, right? When she was talking about conversation. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the... Oh. The fact that... She might get she's married. She's rebellious right now. Yeah. That's her phase. Mm -hmm. So, I'm eagerly waiting for... Like, since they're doing these time jumps anyways, just jump to the part where she's older. Yeah, I know. Maybe more sensible because, yeah, right now. I think they'll have at least one I'm time not... jump. One more. Like a bigger one, you uh, know? They, they have a lot of time jumps to do. Yeah? Yeah. Well. I guess it depends on how they want to tell the story. But the thing is, you can do this show without time jumps. Like some people were saying that they had to do it. The three-year time jump. It's like, uh, no, you didn't. If you're good at storytelling and writing you can just make this the arc of the season you know like the crab feeder stuff that was rushed as fuck yeah it was super rushed like looking back at it all it did was establish damon's character glory right for this episode yeah, yeah. yeah. but we didn't need a whole half episode of battle for that since they're gonna time jump anyways you could have just had a, like a five minute conversation, either conversation or just come out of the cave with the head, the head, yeah. you know, because they didn't show it anyway. So might as well save some time and like progress something else. And I guess that's my problem with some of the time jumps. Well, there is another threat threat now. The snake. Uh... No, that's Corliss. 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 Okay, but that's his nickname. Okay. Sea yeah. snake. So how are they a threat? Someone because they're still salty that 
uh, Viserys turned down their uh, betrothal, okay. and now they're aligning themselves with the Free Cities. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the That's- Free Cities is where Bravos is, and the Iron Bank is there as well. Not mm-hmm. just that. Who was supplying the crab feeder with its supplies? And exactly. Men, There's some ships. shit going on there with the, the free cities. The free yeah. cities are not necessarily Rebellious. aligned with the crown. They're yeah. basically they're not. Neutral. No, they're not in Westeros. Yeah, they're they're mm-hmm. on the they're neutral. Uh, what the fuck's it called? Mm-hmm. Fuck, I'm blanking on the name. But yeah, they're on the other landmass. Mm-hmm. They're free. <laughs> they're on the other side of the narrow sea. But yeah, but Cor- anyways, uh, Corlys has like the majority of the nation's naval. Like troops and such. So, so he might stage like a fucking a kook, a kook, a kook, a kook. A kook. A kook. <laughs> the point a is, is that one of the families <laughs> that's like one of the families that's like pivotal to the strength of the royal nation in uh, Westeros is obviously, you know, they're in a position of weakness right now. They have to, they have to bind themselves with another family ASAP. Mm. I don't think uh, Rhaenyra is gonna end up marrying whoever Corlys is. Uh, yeah, Lena, right? Name? Yeah. That's see, that's what the yeah, is gonna happen. I guess I don't I don't see the th- real threat of her not marrying. I feel like they've got the dragons. Like, I don't know. I'm not convinced. Bro, you just right spent now. 15 minutes arguing with me that she has to marry. No, I'm, I'm, again, because it, it, they're making a point of it. But I'm just saying that me personally, as a viewer, I don't see okay. the importance. But again, I understand why for them it is because tradition, yeah. tradition, yada yada. Yeah. Right. Even though he has a male heir, but he's not going to yeah. take that route because yeah. he's sticking to his word, which I like. So you're saying auto, but just... she's not ready. Not even close. No, 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 no. And and literally that was the point of this episode yeah. too. When him, when her and Damon went to the city, right? The people aren't ready to accept her yet. No, it's not about the people. Like if she's named, they're gonna have to accept her. That like, yeah, it's not a question. They don't really mm-hmm. have the thing is, she's not ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's very uh, bratty right now and spoiled and not and too angsty. Mm-hmm. And that's why I feel like after our next time jump, when she's an adult we might get into the better version of Renera, and that's when I might start liking her more. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, if they go by the books. Mm-hmm. The books. The books. All right, guys, thanks for watching our reaction for House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 4. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.